This is Earth. Earth has many artificial satellites. In order to communicate with them, we use ground stations. Given that Earth is a globe, each ground station can only communicate with satellites above it. And as more satellites move quickly, a single ground station has short periods of time for communications. Hi, we are the Satnox project and we have an idea. What if we created a network of ground stations around the world that can share observation assignments and publish the results in a combined way? The coverage of satellites would dramatically improve and shared resources would make the ecosystem more efficient. I thought the project was really just amazing and ambitious. Uh, you know, when you, when you hear about satellites and space and hacking, it just sort of, you know, it, it definitely deserves to be in the top five. Uh, what I really liked about it is that everything uh, can be built and in a distributed manner is just, you know, from the from the rotor to move the, the antenna to the software, like everything is just really well done. Um, and it really does open the door for hackers to start, you know, paying attention to what's in the sky and what's coming over them. And it's sort of like this, maybe it's not new, but for a lot of people it is a new generation or a new way of hacking wireless. This is really amazing. Space has traditionally been the environment just for big governments with vast budgets. And here these folks are bringing the ability to track satellites to the average person. It's networked so that all these stations all over the world can track a huge constellation of spacecraft. You know, just a, a week or two ago, the Antares rocket was supposed to be launched out of Wallops Island, not terribly far from where I live, about 100 miles away. We went out to watch the launch because we can see it sometimes from that distance. Unfortunately, it was canceled. The next night, it did go, but it was cloudy, so we couldn't watch it. And unfortunately, it was destroyed on the pad, or just off the pad. Well, with the, something like Space Nogs, if the Antares had actually delivered its payload, then all of us could be tracking this stuff. In this day and age of CubeSats, which is making space much more accessible to at least universities and things, having a network of tracking stations like this, I think makes a ton of sense. And um, this project is, I think, has a lot of soul to it. It's a very collaborative project. All these people showed up in the video, the final video, which is really great. And I can tell that it team worked together. And not only that, but it is the most, um, like when you're talking about like a, a connected project, this is the most connected because it actually it's connect people together. Not just that the, the it itself has internet access, but actually brings people around the world together and connects them together, not only for their love of tracking satellites and grabbing data from them, but um, also like technically like they share data and there's like, you know, databases that they can they take shot like um, a data dumps from like the, the SDR and then upload them and analyze them. So I think that this one is, is super networked and also has the benefit of being the most space themed. I mean, it is, you know, looking at space. The Satnogs project, what I love about this one is just the grand scope of it. They want to put these things all around the world. And not only that, it's not just a dream, but they've actually engineered and structured and designed the thing and uh, management and subdivided it into different projects to allow them to actually do that. It's a thoroughly professional project and well, it's just well done, brilliant.